Hello my friends, I'm Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. On our channel, we talk about homesteading, prepping, growing food, hydroponics, and news that affects people that want to be self-reliant. We do daily videos and we'd love to have you join us. Hey everyone, good to see you. I've got to tell you, it's not a sparkling day in Central Oregon. Not at all. It's a rainy day. And that's very unusual. So i got a feeling I'm going to have some very happy grass, which means <laughs> mowing lawns, and some very happy plants, uh, like uh, tomatoes and stuff. So, uh, uh, just this the first time I've had a chance to come out here and see what's going on and uh, check the water situation for all the uh, hydroponics and uh, see how, um, how they're reacting to this rain. Should be positive, I would assume, but uh, uh, it's a nice temperature and uh, really cloudy and that's, uh, that's cool. So uh, let's take a peek and see what's going on. Well, I uh, came into the uh, greenhouse actually think I'm going to shut down the fans. I do have an uh, exhaust fan for hot air, but uh, it's a nice temperature in here. Uh, let's see if I get my... Yeah, 62 degrees. And uh, looks like we got a couple of tomatoes ready to harvest today. And uh, all the bok choy looks really, looks really good. So yeah kind of nice it's almost like a whole different area I mean it's just been hot and humid and relentless uh, sunshine that don't know how to act on a day when it actually rains uh, I wasn't even sure if I should put a light jacket on or something but anyway yep seasons are changing a little so today uh, I kind of wanted to talk about living in fear and uh, oh, I just saw another video where someone got a comment, a uh, proper channel, and it says, well, you're just living in fear. And uh, uh, I certainly don't feel like I am. Um, I definitely live in, I uh, live in concern. But uh, I think uh, uh, as this guy, um, when I was watching, addressed it, now I'm going to address it too, is... Uh, it's no different than insurance. Um, all we're doing is, uh, instead of paying a, f a premium to cover a car or a homeowner's insurance or have health insurance, um, we're investing in also things like water and food. And uh, in case there's a lack of, uh, I have the insurance of having extra food and extra power and resources to... Uh, uh, that's a big one um, to uh, be comfortable in case an emergency happens and uh, gosh I've got to pick some strawberries then I can ensure I'm going to have strawberries in the winter right um, yes I'm looking for breakfast and uh, that looks like a breakfast strawberry right there so yeah, living in fear is, well, you've heard me time and time again, this is not a channel to live in fear. This is a channel to uh, make sure you're comfortable and protected. And uh, uh, it doesn't, <laughs> hi. Um, sorry, my German Shepherd was being silly. Hi, what you got, baby? Wow. Nice bone, huh? So yeah, I, uh, I don't want you guys to live in fear, but I do want to see you guys, if something happens, um, where we need time to recover from a, uh, a weather problem or something, that we can uh, all sit back and go, gosh, I'm glad we all got together and planned uh, a little extra food and planned uh, a little, uh, a generator and planned uh, to uh, 
maybe buy some expensive food now like meat and stuff because the prices might jump up and know that your freezer is full of a good investment of steaks and hamburgers and stuff that you got at a much better price than they are today so uh hey guys hey what are you doing it's going down what's the problem really hey so uh sit guys hello hey sit sit the only reason they're doing that is because i'm holding a strawberry look at those pretty girls gotta sit oh you can't I'm um, good for five seconds with Bell. Let me try the strawberry. Yum. Look at the face I'm getting from the chocolate lab. See, that's Bell. Cinder's way of saying, hey, I'm trying to give Ro <laughs> give Dad a, a, a cute look so I can get a bite. Hey. Hey, there you go. She loves strawberries. So yeah, don't live in fear, guys. Uh, be, actually, what we're trying to teach people is to be smart. Um, if things go down and we have problems, and they uh, the community sees that you're prepared and you can help everybody, they're going to think you're brilliant. So uh, it's the people that are woke... The ones that uh, uh, think things will never change. Um, everything changes. Uh, can you really think of anything that really doesn't change? And our resources, the way we are, government's functioning, um, the mandates are coming down. It's changing all the time. And it doesn't mean that our power will be the same, or water will be the same, or food will be the same. Um, and all we're trying to do is be prepared. Um, have, have an ace in your pocket. Um, what's the use of living in fear? If you're a Christian, you won't be in fear. So, uh, for those who are Christians, uh, there's no fear. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to fear. Um, and uh, if you're not a Christian, common sense. Um, you don't remember that common sense thing? Um, to have things put away, have things ready uh, in case something happens. Why do you put flashlights in your drawer? In case it gets dark. Are you in fear of the dark? No. It's just a flashlight. <laughs> Well, that's all prepping is, too. So, yeah. Um, of course, you get the keyboard warriors in there. The ones that sit behind the desk all day. Uh, getting on people's websites and saying nasty comments. Actually, we've been very fortunate. We don't really don't get much of that at all. And uh, when we do get comments, we love pro or con of what we're talking about. Uh, as long as people are professional, I love all sides of the conversation. And uh, and I'm grateful to those that may be opposing to you. I was like, oh, yes, you are in fear, Rob. All right, well, tell me why. Um, let's see a couple fish. This is weird. I've never, <laughs> it's been so long since it's ra rained. Um, I, I don't know how to act. I don't know if I should be putting a coat on or what. So confused. Of course, came out to the front yard, looked out to the front gate out there, and there's a chewy box. So hopefully uh, it's not too soggy and I'll bring it in into the garage here and uh, <laughs> put it away and I uh, hope it's not too heavy either. Well, I got my soggy box in here. No harm done. And uh, brought in my Traeger pellet sitting outside. Brought in my Traeger. And uh, it's been so long since it's rain. We've gotten rain. That uh, we've had things sitting out. Um, that probably shouldn't sit in the rain. So yeah, kind of throwing us here. So I kind of <laughs> laugh. 
for me to do a video, I'm actually hiding in the garage. It was actually raining. But uh, one of the last things, uh, you know, I get always, everybody should put their two cents in. And once I say, uh, you know, I've been talking about we need to start pushing back. So I have a platform, so I push back using my platform and other things. Um, but also pushing back means getting involved in things and all that stuff. But to address the president uh, about all this uh, six point thing for uh, uh, vaccines and all that, <clears throat> um, it's just hard to believe that our world's changing to what's going on. Our leadership has just lost it. It's, it's, there's, there's money involved and greed involved. That's all I can say. Um, and uh, the whole thing, uh, after doing some research, is everything's going to be challenged in court. And it's like, what we all need to be doing is this, please go back to the Constitution. Um, they're overplaying it. They're bypassing it. They're using little loopholes to do stuff, and none of it is uh, really legal to do. And so, uh, instead of getting all Twitter-pated <laughs> about um, the mandates and all that stuff, um, give it time, because it's just going to get broken down uh, through the courts. And uh, it just can't continue, because people are eventually going to say, we've had enough. So... Uh, yeah, it's 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 insane. So my look at everything is is I really believe in freedom and liberty. And when I believe in freedom and liberty and everybody says, well, I want mandates, but freedom and liberty, uh, I like that too. The thing is, is freedom and liberty means tolerance. So I always use this as examples. I have a five acre place here and there's ordinances and rules that I can do th certain things on my property. If my neighbor on his property decides to store a few cars or something, you know, put a tarp over a, a camper or something like that and it doesn't look good, and, but he's not breaking the law or not breaking the ordinances in the area, then I have to accept that. And the same thing goes for uh, vaccines and medications and things like that. Um, if uh, I'm not against it or f um, at all, but I can certainly see why others don't want to take any medicines that they don't need. Uh, I'm totally against prescriptions. I try to do everything with natural supplements and vitamins and, uh, and the type of food I eat to uh, stay healthy. And uh, that's my preference. And... Uh, if I went to a doctor and he was going to try to push a subscription on me, I would fight it tooth and nail. Even though it's totally illegal and it may actually do some of the things the prescription will say, there's always a side effect. And I believe that with vaccines too. Um, but there's so many situations where it really makes sense for people to get it. But the problem is, is <laughs> it's not really working. Um, if I have jab, can I still get the, uh, the illness? Yes. If I don't have the jab, can I still get the illness? Yes. If I get the jab, will I guarantee me not to go to the hospital? No. If I don't have the jab, will it guarantee me to go to the hospital? No. <laughs> and so, uh, two questions. Is this darn thing really working? And two is, if I'm vaccinated and another person isn't, um, we both have the ops, um, opportunity to get it. Um, what's the difference? <laughs> so how about this going back to freedom and liberty? That's your choice. Do what you want to do. Um, you're not going to hurt me. Uh, if I got the jab already, and you're not going to hurt me if I don't have a jab. So, let it go. <laughs> Move on with life. 
like worry about your bills and getting out of debt and, and getting prepared for stuff. Um, dang, guys. <laughs> um, we're in each other's business way too much. Uh, we need government to back off. We need to, to be self-reliant and have general you know, laws that are enforced in a constitution we all agree on and just live life. But man, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Division, division, division. And uh, it can't be good. So being prepared, prepping, uh, having spare food. Because I mean, there's even worse things where they're actually uh, saying that people at proper are bad bad people because we're hoarding stuff. It's like, I'm not hoarding anything. I, I do buy a little extra stuff every time I go to the store and I grow my own food and, and store it. Um, but I'm certainly not hurting anybody else, nor am I hurting consumers. Um, I'm sure there's other people that go out there and buy everything they can. Those guys is like, that's never what we talk about here. We talk about a little at a time. So nobody's being hurt and nobody's getting more than their portion. And as time goes on, portion rationing might become a big, much bigger issue than it is today. So that's my two cents worth. Um, I'm sure I'll get some hate comments, but all I ask is be professional. Give me really good reasoning why I should have a different opinion, and I might consider it. Um, and uh, you woke folks and all that stuff, it's kind of funny. I'm willing to hear your side of the story. I'm willing to debate with you. I'm willing to hear your argument. But why can't you hear mine? Or most of us 80 million people. Why do you just say talk to the hand thing? <coughs> is it because you, you're wrong? Or is it because you're just making assumptions instead of actually following facts? I don't know. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you very much for uh, visiting the channel and watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And we're going to enjoy this rain we got. It's really good for our area. We really needed the rain. <coughs> that's a good thing. So guys, love you a lot. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.